guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, I'm Zara and I'm a mum to three. We've got Ruby that's six, Lucy that's five and Tommy that is one. And this is our family of five weekly food shop vlog. I just thought I'd come along. I thought I'd just show you the contents of what I've got. It's kind of self-explanatory. I don't know why I then felt the need to explain. If you've followed us for a while, I used to do these all the time with Aldi, stuff like that. However, prices are starting to increase just a little bit. So Aldi did me one over with changing the quality of their wipes. If you have noticed this yourself, you will understand the frustration. They're now like Huggies wipes and just doesn't sit right with me. I always got told, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Audi, should have took that advice. So today I'm actually getting a food shop from Morrison's. It was home delivery. It came to about 79 pounds. Had a few substitutions, but was all happy with what they have chose instead. So take it back a few years ago, we used to be able to do a family shopping and that was four of us for about 40 to 50 pounds. Nowadays, 80 pounds is normally the weekly budget. What I kind of pick, obviously we've got Tommy in nappies and wipes that adds the cost up. And today I've got a few little bits for around the house as well. So I don't think 79 pounds is too bad. I've also got a tip. So on that 79 food shop, I will also be getting I think £7.90 um, off of my phone bill next month. I will be doing another video coming up. I'm going to do a little budgeting series of ways to save money because obviously everything's increasing. I'm here to help you and I'm helping myself. So anything I find useful along the way, I will be sharing. So yeah, from this shop as well, I will get about £7.90 off our phone bill next month. So which actually makes it just over £70, which I don't think is bad for a family five. So... My bad. I knocked the drain cover. So without further ado, I'm just gonna crack on, show you our meal ideas and everything I managed to get for £79. Please know I'm always hanging, washing around the house now to dry because we do so much washing. So I'm just gonna start off with all the random stuff to begin with. So to start off with, I got some sugar. Tom goes through this like mad with cups of teas. He literally has four in a cup of tea. We get through sugar like crazy and I swear it's just Tom's consumption alone. Then it was needed, this is like the random essential pile, miscellaneous. I got Tommy some more toothpaste and then I got the girls. We've never actually had this one before. Normally I get the Colgate, but the price difference was crazy. So I'm gonna see if they get on well with this. I think this was about a pound. That was about like one pound 20, whereas the other one was like a whole pound more for Too Faced. So we'll see how they get on with this. Ruby can also get the six plus one. However, that one's for when they start getting their adult teeth and Ruby hasn't lost any teeth yet. So I'm not really sure whether to put her on the six plus one or not not too sure i then got some squash i always get the own brands it just helps keep the prices down like vimton and ribena are like two pound odd so that's a pound i got us some quilted toilet paper again i go for the own brand at the end of the day it's to wipe your bum and to flush down the toilet but we do get quilted because it's just something i can't hold back on this week i'm trying the baby wipes Tommy is actually sensitive to the pampered sensitive ones, so we can't get them. So I'm trying this week the Morrison Savers. Like I mentioned before, Audi has done us a wrong one and changed the makes of their wipes. I always used to swear by their wipes. So cheap and so good. So I thought to try the Morrison's one, I will give you feedback, so stay tuned. So I got three packs of them. Hopefully I like them, so we have no other wipes in the house, so it's that or nothing. And then I've got the Nutmeg Ultra Dry Nappies. These I actually didn't rate last time I got, but I thought maybe, maybe it was that pack, maybe it was that dodgy, but I felt like the tapey bits kept coming loose. So I'm gonna try them again. If not, I will go to Sainsbury's own brand because I do always love the Sainsbury's own brand ones. I then got some bin bags, something I begrudge paying. So that's like £2.50 for bin bags. I just I hate paying for bin bags. I just it's rubbish, quite literally rubbish. But yeah, £2.50. And then 
Tom's gonna hate me for this, but I got the Morrison's all-in-one dishwasher tablets. He loves branded things, branded through and through. This is why if he does a food chart, it ends up honestly about triple the price of when I do a food chart because I try to get everything unbranded. Um, whereas he goes everything branded for sure. So I'm gonna try them and hopefully it's a good swap as well. If not, I then tend to go to like B&M or Poundland, somewhere like that, because I just find they're cheaper than the main supermarkets for products like that. So next up is a fruit for the week. I got some raspberries. I do find all the berries are super expensive. These were £1.75 down from £1.99 though, so I like to save me some money. I then, with my bananas, this is always a top tip, I get a pack that's ripe and ready to go, that's ready to eat. And then I also get a pack of green. I find if I just get a huge pack of yellow ones, at the end of the day, they go off before we use them and they end up getting wasted. So at least this way, it gives them a little bit more time. Don't get me wrong, one week I'll buy this, it'll be gone in a day because everyone has a banana. But the next week I'll buy it and it's still there by the end of the week because everyone decided they hate bananas this week. So buys a bit more time if you get two different ripeners. And then I got these apples. Bye. Oh man. Real good, real good, real good. If I remember correctly, these apples were literally like 59p. They were the small and sweet ones. The kids tend to waste half an apple anyway when they're eating it. So I prefer getting the smaller ones because we have less food waste. I got two packs of them. And then as well, oranges. These got swapped. So normally I get the easy peeler ones, but these were the tangerines. So I don't mind, it's still fruit. I do always find a way to keep costs down is buying less of the berries. Berries and stuff become a treat. They literally go within one sitting and they're expensive for what they are. If I was to get enough raspberries for raspberries every single day of the week, that would literally be £10 spent on raspberries, which is crazy amount when you think it's just one portion of fruit a day. So apples and bananas and things like pears are a great way to keep the cost down, but still eating healthily. Then we're moving straight into breakfast cereals. So again, own brand, potato potato, it's exactly the same. So we've got rice crackles for the kids this week. We've got some milk, again, whole milk. There's no point, we used to love getting craving down, but we literally get through so much milk with Tom having protein shakes, the kids having breakfast, Tommy having some milk sometimes. It, we just get through it crazily fast. And craving down again is another pound or so for milk. Like, it doesn't sound a lot, but across the week, if we use about one a day, that's seven pounds extra on milk. There was a slight interruption, just took a parcel in for the neighbour, you know, neighbourhood watch, doing everything for the community. No, in all honesty, you just gotta do it, haven't you? Like, help a neighbour out sometimes. So yeah, it's all these small changes, as I was saying, about milk that adds up, seven pounds a week, a month, 28 pounds. That's half of a potential in a food shop on oh, milk. So the pennies, save the pennies, pounds save themselves. And then I've got oats, literally for a huge bag of oats, it's less than a pound, and that will literally do my breakfast for ages. Again, affordable, healthy, and good choices. Next up, I'm gonna go over into, yeah, let's, let's, yeah, let's ignore that mess. Let's, let's just forget about the washing out. Now that the dishwasher tablets have come, I can definitely just chuck that in the door. <laughs> I can't talk today, chuck that in the dishwasher. Right, next up, I'm gonna show you our lunches. So I've got a loaf of bread. If I get brown bread, Tom just won't eat it, so it's easier to get white as a family and we end up wasting less. I've got some more butter. Again, butter is so expensive. We like the proper butter. Then I've got another pack of yogurts for the kids. We've already got a pack in the fridge. There was either the frubes or like the dinosaur animal ones. I, don't, I can't remember what they're called, like tubes. But when you actually look at it, when frubes are on offer, there's nine in a pack for a pound compared to the other has six. So when frubes are a pound, it's better value for money. You get more. That'll go in the kids' pack ups. These are like my lunchy snack that I like to have. I did pick for raspberry as well, but they substituted it, but I don't really mind. These are the best tasting protein yogurts. The Brooklyn ones and the Arlo ones are brilliant and higher in protein. However, these ones do taste better. And this week, it's all about things tasted better. So these are four for three pounds. So they're more of a treat, but it is a healthy snack. And it's the one thing I buy for myself. So these are passion fruit, mango and papaya, and they do taste good. 
So they will go in the kids' lunches. They have sandwiches at school. Then I've got some crisp variety because they take some crisps and Tommy likes some new cheddars. So I've got chip sticks today, salt and vinegar flavor. I've got mini cheddars, original and frazzles. So they're a little treat. And then the kids will have one or two pieces of fruit in their lunch each day as well. Nothing fancy, but it does the job. Next up is our seven dinner ideas. These are all quite affordable, quick and easy meal ideas at the moment with the kids coming home from school and then I always start work at half six. I literally have like a two hour window to do dinner, bath, bedtime, get everyone like in bed and then go to work. So they are quick, easy, convenient family meal ideas that array for a full type of preferences at meal times. So meal idea number one is your standard sausage, mash and veg. Sometimes we mix it up and make this a sausage tray bake. So the two for four pound deal is great. It means that look, there's six sausages in a pack, but a family of five, that'd be like one sausage and like a little segment each. So we get, so we get like, how many is in this then? 12, so yeah. The offers on meats are always really good. And if anyone doesn't eat any, we pop it in the fridge and have it for lunch or a snack the next day. We've got two broccolis because we do get through our veg in a meal time now that the kids are getting older. A bag of carrots and potatoes for mash. If I have any of these left over, I can always chop them up for another dinner as extra wedges or homemade chips in the air fryer. Meal idea number two, as it comes to summer, we prefer less proper chip dinners. So we're gonna have panini. You'll notice there's four and not five because Tommy just would not eat a full panini and it's a waste. So I'll cut off a little bit of the girls each and he'll have like two fingers because they won't eat a whole one either. With some, I'm gonna do some roasted Mediterranean style vegetables. This is me being lazy. So this was a cheap, but it was also part of an offer, an online offer, which was super cheap anyway. So this will just whack in the oven. I'll let the kids pick at it and tell me if they want to try anything out of here, but this is more for me. They would definitely not eat a lot of it. Ruby would maybe eat some of the courgette, Tommy maybe some of the cherries, but the rest I'll save for the next day. I should probably have like tuna at lunchtime just to eat up the leftovers. So the paninis, we can have honey, ham, and cheese ones. We've also got bacon in the fridge if anyone wanted a bacon panini instead or leftover chicken from the next meal idea I'm going to show you so we could have chicken paninis. But it's just a quick, easy, tasty snack dinner. Meal idea number three is one of our firm favourites at the moment. It is literally a roast chicken. Bang it in, put some part baked rolls in. There's six in here, so we have one each and then some will have two so part baked rolls fresh from the other with some cheese and some chicken and anything we've got in the cupboards that we need eating up or anything like pickled onions all bits and pieces like that it's kind of like a summer dinner salad bob's your uncle meal idea number four so the top tip is before i go food shopping i always check or before I write my shopping list to go online, I always check to see what I've got in the cupboards and I try to build it into the dinners I'm gonna add as well. It saves less wastage. So we have five hot dogs already in the cupboard, but that's not gonna be enough for all of us. So I got some more hot dogs and we've already got six buns in the, <laughs> buns in the oven, six buns in the cupboard. So we'll have hot dog sausages with some sweet corn. Last week we had corn on the cob from Morrison's, but it just wasn't that great. The fresh corn on the cob. I don't know whether it was the packaging or it was way before its date, but it just wasn't nice. So I'm gonna try the kids with some tin sweet corn, really quick and easy. We've got some potato wedges, but like I said, I can use some of the leftover potatoes if so. So hot dogs, sweet corn, and garlic potato wedges. So I was on about the meal deal. So these potato wedges, that chicken, and those Mediterranean style vegetables was actually on an online meal deal for five pounds. Whereas that itself was literally, I wanna say like three to four pounds on its own. So it worked out really cheap and it helped build towards three dinners. Always, always look for the little hidden offers. Take your time, because it does save more money. Meal idea number five was Ruby's request. We're having a tacos. So I've got a taco here. I've got some crispy salad. I've got some baby tomatoes, obviously the mince for the tacos. We've got some cheese 
and then I've got a cucumber so we'll have some tacos for dinner so a nice snacky dinner of tacos literally anything that's more snacky and less civilized formal dinner goes down better in our house then meal idea number six is spaghetti on bolognese. So we've got mince, we've got some more spaghetti. I always add some garlic bread. Now we're a bigger family because it helps bulk out the dinner a little bit more. And that's literally about a pound, I think, for two baguettes. Um, and then I've also realized that I didn't <laughs> get a bolognese sauce. So that's one thing that's missing. So at some point during the week, I will be grabbing a bolognese sauce. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. I used to always make it from scratch. So if I feel I'm gonna have a lot more time in the evening, I will make it from scratch and get the ingredients for it. But with how my work is and how having the kids are at the moment, it's the jar sauce. It's just quicker and easier for convenience at the moment. Meal idea number seven. And our last meal idea is jacket potatoes. It's such a cheap, easy simple dinner some of the kids will have cheese i'll also do a tuna topping i'll also do a baked beans topping so there's an array of toppings an array of variety and it's a quick easy cheap meal idea it's just a standard like jacket potato you can't go wrong that is everything in our weekly food shop i hope you find it helpful what i found is that why i'm now going more towards the route of morrison's is that i can get that cash back which then kind of makes it a bigger discount and then also aldi the substitutions used to i used to find in our local aldi there were things missing from week to week not even substituted just completely missing or the substitutions were quite thick and fast some weeks so we'll see how we get on with morrison's for the foreseeable you never know, I could be back to Audi last week. So I hope this video helped. Stay tuned because I will be coming back to you with another budgeting money helpful video soon. I love you all and I hope to see you on my next video.